Okay, Rick, so now it's time to hang a shutter. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing that we want to do, Russ, is to make sure that we've got the front and the back of the shutter clearly understood. So right now, this is the front of the shutter. How can you tell the difference? Because it's typically the more decorative side. Makes sense. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the shutter, we're going to turn it in the closed position with the back out, and we're going to tuck it into one side of the window just like that. Now what I like to do is use a spacer block at the bottom to give about a quarter of an inch. So I'm just going to use a carpenter's pencil. Gotcha. I'm going to put that down like that, so now you got some clearance. Okay. okay? And we want to give about a quarter of an inch between the jam of the casing and the shutter. Good enough. We can eyeball it. It doesn't have to be perfect because these aren't going to be truly functional. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your, your hinge pintle. You're going to take your hinge. You're going to put them together. Okay? And what you're looking for here is to make sure that the hinge actually falls onto the rail of a shutter. And sometimes if you've got a really built up windowsill, the hinge could come up there and you don't want that. So in this case, we're in good shape actually. So what we see here is that the pintle at the bottom of the casing is going to land the hinge nicely onto the bottom rail of the shutter. So what that tells me is I can feel safe in unscrewing this pintle onto the casing. Before I do that though, I'm going to make a real simple line on my shutter here, which is the center line of the hinge. Just to help you install the strap once you get the shutters onto a sawhorse? Exactly, because the next thing we're going to do is take this shutter, put it on the sawhorses, and we're going to screw the hinge onto the shutter, and then we're going to screw the pintle into the window. Gotcha. All right, so as you can see here, we have the shutter with the face side or the front side down on a piece of uh, an old piece of carpeting, actually, just to protect the shutter. Nice work surface. We have all of our parts and tools handy and ready. So if you remember, we put a pencil mark onto the shutter, which basically represents the center line of the strap hinge. So all I'm going to do is take a square and I'm going to transfer the line, make a light line on the shutter. All right, so now that we have our pencil line drawn on the rail of the shutter, we want to take our hinge. And just as a refresher, the hinge is what gets screwed to the shutter. The pintle is what gets screwed to the window casing. So we're going to take our hinge, we're going to hold it back down onto the shutter, and we're basically going to take the holes of the hinge and orient it with the line that we drew on the rail. Make sure that we can see that line through the hole of the hinges. That basically makes sure that the hinge is square to the rail of the shutter. Then we're going to take this bend in the hinge, which is the hinge offset, and we're going to slide it so that it aligns perfectly with the edge of the shutter. And then we're just going to hold the hinge with our fingers. We're going to grab a drill. We're going to drill a pilot hole in each hole. One. Two. Three. Then we're basically going to take three screws. Start them by hand, a little bit. I'm going to take a driver. I'm basically going to secure the hinge to the shutter. Now we have a strap hinge that's properly secured to the bottom rail of a shutter. Okay, so now it's time to secure the pintle onto the casing of the window. So. You remember before when we measured, we know that we can very safely take the pintle, bottom it out to the sill of the window, hold it about a quarter of an inch in, and then we're basically going to just drill some pilot holes. I, I always like to drill one hole first just to secure the pintle. Back for a second. Just make sure that that's level, then I can Swap that out, drill my remaining pilot holes, the rest of my screws. There you go. Now we have our bottom pintle on the one side done. We're going to bring our shutter back now and we're going to see how it fits. All right, Russ, so now that we have the pintle onto the casing and we have the bottom strap hinge onto the shutter, why don't you go ahead and put that hinge on the pintle. And while you're doing that, what I'm going to do is grab the top hinge and pintle. I'm going to hand you the level. Right. All right. Always helps to have a second pair of hands around when you're doing jobs like this. So if you remember, we kept about a quarter of an inch clearance between the side of the shutter and the jam at the bottom. Right. We're going to want to do the same thing here. And one thing that I find is a nice way to cheat, let me put my hinge down. Just going to use a pencil real quick as a spacer and just hold that in there. Yep, so now it's always good to, make, to put a level on it to see how we're doing. So how are we doing? We're between the lines. We're between the lines. Awesome. So now what we want to do is we want to take our pinnel, we want to take our hinge, and we're going to eyeball it. And what we want is we want the strap hinge, if you can, to be centered in the top rail of the shutter. 
So that is going to absolutely be possible. So all we're going to do here is we're going to take a pencil, we're going to put a little mark on the casing which represents the bottom edge of where the pintle is going to be screwed onto. We're going to eyeball that strap hinge to make sure it's going across the shutter. We're going to put a pencil mark right in the center line of the top rail, kind of what we did for the bottom. So now we're going to take the hinge. You can go ahead and take the shutter back off. We're going to go back to our sawhorse and we're going to screw the hinge onto the top of the shutter and we're going to screw the pintle in. And we're moving right along. So now we have the top hinge screwed, the bottom hinge screwed. Let's see how we did. Great. Should line it up to the pinnel there. Takes a little coordination, right? All right, perfect. Why don't we open it up? Let's throw a level on it and see how we did. Perfect. All right, awesome. So now all we have to do is basically repeat the process for the left side. All right, Rick, shutters are up. They look great. I did notice that there were some existing holes in the window casing. Yeah, there were some old shutters that were on this window before we started. All you need to do is patch those and paint them in after we're done. Got it. All right, so shutters in place. Where do we go from here? So the next thing we have to do is install tiebacks and bullet catches. We love bullet catches, right? And the reason we love them is because they're unobtrusive. They go in the back of the shutter. You don't really see them. It allows us to use the tieback as a more decorative element that you don't have to actually bolt it into the face of the shutter. Right. So let me just show you how it works. Okay. All right, so we're going to open the shutter. Actually, we're going to close it, okay? And the bullet catch is two pieces, right? It's a bullet with a hanger bolt on the back of it that's screwed in already. And then we've got this little catch. You basically snap them in, and this goes in the wall of the house. Mm -hmm. This goes on the back of the shutter. Okay. And then they engage, and boom, it keeps the shutter nice and tight. So the first thing you need to do is locate a hole into the wall of the house. Now, there's no perfect placement for this. We typically want it somewhere in the lower half of the shutter, okay. and we always want it on the outside style. And just to keep it simple, I already drilled a hole and put an anchor in. Okay. All right. So then all I'm going to do is take this bullet. I am going to screw it in. All right. Now I'm just snugging that in. There we go. Doesn't have to be bared down on. A little trick that I learned a long time ago is I'm actually going to use that bullet to locate where the clip goes on the back of the shutter. How are you doing that? It's simple. I'm going to take the shutter and I'm going to push into it a little bit. And that's going to leave a little mark on there, on the shutter. I can see it. Yep. And then all I'm going to do, that's my center, all right? And then I'm just going to make two pencil marks on here. And then I'm just going to screw this into the shutter. So let me get the screws and drill and do that now. And there we go. So now you have the clip on the back of the shutter. You've got the bullet into the house. Now let's see if it lines up. Perfect. All right, Rick, so I see you went ahead and installed the other bullet catch. That's good. The shutter's nice and secure. Now it's time for the tiebacks. Absolutely. So the tieback is basically a decorative element. They come in lots of different sizes and shapes, and they're, they're real simple. They basically go at the bottom of the shutter, and they're intended to keep the shutter in the open position. But we use bullet catches, right? So the bullet catch is actually what's keeping this shutter held open. So we're going to basically use this as a decorative element and keep it just about an eighth of an inch from touching the shutter. So the first thing you want to do is measure in four inches from the outer edge of the shutter and make a little mark on the shutter. So we like four inches in from the outside, but there's no right or wrong. Some people like it there, some people like it there. Four inches puts it right about there. The next thing to want to pay attention to is the pivot point, because this thing is basically going to pivot on a bolt. And shutter dogs are always bigger at the bottom, so they self-center. All right, so you want to make sure that the bolt is low enough so that when you rotate the shutter tie back, the shutter clears it. So that looks to be about a good location for us. And we're just going to transfer a pencil mark into the stone. And then we're going to drill a hole. So I have a hammer drill here with the appropriate size bit. I'm going to swing the shutter back out of the way. I have my mark that I made previously. There we go. So now that we have our hole drilled, our expansion shield hammered in flush, we're going to take the lag bolt, 
two little bushings here, which basically protect the paint on the tie back. So we're going to take the bolt, we're going to put the tie back through, we're going to take the other bushing, put that in, and we're going to take this spacer furl, which slides over the lag bolt, basically cleans up the look. Then we're going to grab a socket wrench or an open end wrench, and we're basically just going to snug this in. Swing that out of the way. We have a tie back installed. Okay, Rick, great. Tie backs are in. What are we putting on next? Yeah, we're moving right along, almost done. So, the next thing is we're going to put slide bolts and we're going to put a pull ring. So, the slide bolt has two parts it's got the bolt, it's got the keeper. Right. The bolt goes on one side on the middle rail, the keeper goes on the other side. I'm right. guessing outside edge. Outside edge. So, it goes something like that, right? Gotcha. And the idea here is when you shut close the shutters, you can bolt it from the inside, keep them locked. Gotcha. Then you have a pull ring, which goes a few inches below the bolt, one on each shutter. Mm -hmm. That could just gives you something to hold on to and close the shutter from the inside of the house. Sounds easy. So let's, let's get do these it. installed. All right, Rick, looks like we're just about done. One last thing to do, right? So all homes come with roofs, all shutters need roofs as well. So we're gonna put this copper capping on the top of each shutter. Comes applied with this super strong double face tape that's on the back of the capping. And all you do is you take the capping, which is pre-cut for the shutters, push it down, they're not going anywhere. You're gonna do the same over here? And do the same on this side. Pop that up there, they're not going anywhere. Get our ladder out of the way. Now we have a proper roof for our shutters so no water is going to get in the joint. They're properly secured to the house. They're not going to rattle in the wind. They look fantastic. This is a traditional, almost classic wood casing installation, but there are other surfaces you're going to mount shutters to, right? Yeah, of course, right. So this tends to be the most typical um, windows that we see you know, typical brick mold with a flat wood casing, but there's a myriad of different, you know, homes, of course, there's brick, there's stucco, there's um, windows that really have no casing. And as you know, we've got a range of different hardware um, systems that will work with just about any window, and we cover all those in different videos. So the core installation is the same. You're gonna have pintles, you're gonna have straps, you're gonna have your tie backs, and then your jewelry, if you will, with the uh, pull rings and the slide bolts. All basically the same, just mounting onto some different surfaces? That's exactly right. So everything else is pretty much always the same. The only thing that varies is the pintle and where you're mounting it onto the home. Good to know.